Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hey guys, Paul Pluta. Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I wanted to talk to you. They're doing a paid review. This is M21. Before I do that, quick wristwatch check. Rolex Daytona two-tone. Absolutely love that watch. This is for a Russian guy. And he's he's a bit of a cunt, I must say. This is M21. Um and he came to me, he said, Hi Archie, I need your help. I found an interesting watch at a low price, but there is little information about that model on the internet. Found similar models, but not a limited edition model on Chrono and also on watchvalues.net. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. It's a Frank Muller 7000 CC S45. Uh, it was originally sold in Russia in 2004. It's in mint condition. Can you find anything else about this watch? Uh, now, this guy here, he was a real stingy fucking Russian son of a bitch. Really fucking stingy, fucking nasty, fucking mean. Just the whole Russian genre is pretty fucking... Um, they're just nasty fuckers, you know. I don't, I don't know what it is with the Russians. They, uh, I mean, my ancestry. I'm not, I'm not racist. I'm allowed to say this because I am uh, Russian and well, Ukrainian Russian, similar gene pool, isn't it? Uh, that's, that's kind of what I, I think there. Uh, this guy here, he's a, he's a real uh, cheap fuck. There, he, he. Um, he asked me for advice, and then he he wanted a video as well done, and I and I kind of I said okay, I'll do a video, I'll do a video for you, uh, namely because he's such a cunt about things, and um, typical Russian, he he they, they just they just got they've got very little class. A lot of these Russians, he, he flipped me twenty dollars, and he, then he wants me to do a video as well, and. I've done the video because I'm going to highlight what a fucking cunt he is. But he's just a, a nasty, nasty piece of shit. Like most, um... I mean, I, I'm, I'm Russian myself and I know what sort of cunts they are. Anyhow, he's found this watch here. It's a Frank Mueller 7000 CC S45. He sends me the most atrocious fucking pictures. Um... Atrocious pictures. And he's asking me about this model here. And and, and I, I got to tell you, I said to him, this is a fucking ugly watch. Uh, doing a bit of research for him. Uh, he never gave me the specs. He just sends me this shit. Like a typical Russian, he sends me a fucking terrible, terrible fucking photo. And says, here you go, here you go. And I mean, Frank Muller... Frank Muller, uh, they, they basically, look, Frank Muller has released hundreds of limited editions, okay? Uh, they'll put limited edition anything on anyone. You know, I'm surprised the rodent hasn't got a limited edition from Frank Muller because they will do any limited edition. Um, I, I, okay, so he gave me the reference number and I, I, I found it. Yeah, you can, it comes up. It's a 7000 series there. I, I found actually a Japanese version. There was a limited edition Japanese version of this same watch. It was a, um, which actually the Japanese version, I must tell you, looked pretty nice. Not as garish as the Russian. Um, the limited edition Japanese was limited edition, limited to 20, 20 pieces. Fuck, that's not many. Is it super hot? Not really, not really. It's fucking dog. Uh, it's not a terrible watch, but it doesn't seem to be super, super 
wanted okay uh, that's that's being completely honest okay it's it's just a soft chronograph a 10 year old soft chronograph that's all it really is I mean it's a Frank Muller yes yes I get it it's a <coughs> it looks very much like a Vacheron but it isn't to Frank Muller to Frank Muller okay so so I I, I kind of liked it I did I did like it yes I did I said I, I liked it I liked it but I said to him I said man man I said to him this is a there's nothing really that special with this limited edition I said to him it's um, the Russian version was ugly ugly fugly to say the least um, and you know I've, I've got to be honest with you there um, this watch has massive depreciation there was one on Houdinki's store they had a Frank Muller 7000 which um, it, it looked very similar now the Russians telling me his one is in platinum okay platinum's a cool metal but this watch originally retailed for US 22,000 um, yeah yeah so why is it so cheap because it's not really a desired chronograph see this is the the problem many of the Frank Muller's um, they they really bomb out they really fucking bomb um, he didn't show me any of the hallmarks it's fucking hard I mean I mean I mean just this Russian guy is just an absolute cunt absolute cunt um, I gotta be honest with you. They're, like most Russians, they're just pigs. They're they're pigs. Okay. I gotta be honest with you. You know, I I I'm Russian ancestry, so I'm allowed to say this. Okay. They're real cunts. They're real cunts, and uh, they have no sense of doing things. You know, I I know a really good Russian guy in Melbourne. I flew down with another friend, and we were supposed to pick up a Pepsi, the Pepsi, a modern Pepsi. And I was actually keen to film it for my channel. I thought, yeah, that would be great. I, I'd love to film that. You know, current, that, that's a very hot watch. And guess what happened? He, he sold it to someone else. Well, I mean, it's just... The, they wonder why no one gives them good deals. And it's because they have absolutely no lo loyalty. They're cunts. I mean, this guy's a lovely guy to have a drink with. He's a nice guy. I like him. I like him. But he's got absolutely no ethics. Absolutely no ethics. And he just burned you. Burned you for for hundred, two hundred dollars. I mean, it's pretty fucking grubby. And uh I mean I'm I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. I tell you I tell it how it is. Russians are fucking assholes. Okay? They they're real assholes. See I'm not really I don't think I'm Russian Russian because I was brought up in Australia see so my mentality my accent is I don't even speak fucking fucking I don't I don't I can only muzzle a few words in Russian uh, you know or Ukrainian I, I can't even fucking speak I can't I don't understand the language uh, and, and and I gotta be honest with you they're cunts they're cunts um, he said to me he can get it for five thousand dollars okay it, originally the platinum one was thirty two thousand he can get it for five and i said the reason it's so cheap is um it's fucking 38 mils which for a chronograph is a well it's not terminal it's not terminal but it's a wee bit small and i mean let's be honest there frank muller is a bit of a soft brand okay they had a they were really hot 20 years ago now there's a lot of bargain frank mullers and to be honest with you this russian here he thinks it's super special it's priced the market has kind of priced it to what it's worth this guy it'd probably be worth a bit more if he was in america yeah probably you know eight nine thousand dollars but he's in fucking russia soviet shithole you know um russia's a fucking nasty place very nasty and 
I got to be honest with you, uh, this guy here, why is it so cheap? Why is it that? Because it's priced that way because Frank Muller is a very soft brand now. I mean, I had a, I had a Frank Muller limited edition. It was a um, United Arab, em and, uh, you know, Arabian sort of football club. Okay. Okay. And, you know, that, that, that would be a $10,000 watch new okay ten thousand aussie that's what it would have cost okay <laughs> but you've got to find the right buyer for it if you're a fan of that football club you could get big big money but i don't i don't know anyone who's a fan of that football club i ended up selling it at a discount. I wanted to move it. Okay, I sold it for about 2800 Aussie dollars. He, the guy who bought it got a bargain. I got out of it. I got a bargain. I made a little bit of money. And that's it. We're, we're, we're all happy. But see, Frank Muller isn't like Rolex. It is, it is a good watch. Like Frank Muller does some cool... You know, Frank Muller has a platinum rotor. Platinum rotor. Which is, yeah, it's kind of novel. You know, it's kind of cool. But, I mean, fuck, the reason they're soft, why are they such, there's no, there's not really bargains. You're not going to get bargains from another Russian, okay? They're cagey fucks. They're very, very cagey fucks. And I tried to explain this. I said, look, this is kind of what the market is because it is a soft watch. And is it a great bargain? I, th I think it's priced for what it is. Would I want, I don't even want the fucking thing. To be completely honest, if it was offered to me at five US, okay, it's platinum, it's a chronograph, yeah, it is kind of cool, yeah, 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 but it, it's a, it's not an iconic model of chronograph. Uh, it's a Frank Muller, just another fucking endless limited edition. Um, yeah, platinum's cool, yeah, it'd be cool to have, but uh, I'd, I'd, if I bought it, I'd end up fucking selling it. And buying something that's iconic, you know. Would I swap? Here's a good question. Would I swap my Zenith El Primero Chronomaster Open Heart for it? That's a good question. No. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Admittedly, the Frank Muller probably is worth more. I, I agree. It probably is on the used market. But I, I love the Zenith. I think the Zenith is, you know, that was one of the first automatic chronographs with an integrated... Chronograph, uh, would I sell it? Would I swap? Would I swap? No, I don't fucking want the Frank Muller. I don't fucking want it. <coughs> so that's 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 the reason it, it is that price. It's the market pricing. It probably is a bit of like if you were a bargain shopper, yeah, you, you, I reckon it's worth more. The problem is you'd have to sit on it for a, a period, significant period, to get a profit. Well, I, th I, I think it is underpriced, but. Ah, oh, fuck. Do you, do, you, do you really want it? Do you really fucking want it? I don't know. I See, I'd much rather buy... If you're going to buy a Frank Muller, I'd rather buy a Frank Muller at half or a third of the price in steel. I think that'd be a better buy. It's not so much money invested. You, you'll always get out. Whereas you're starting to get really serious money. I know it's platinum. I know it's platinum. I know it's platinum. I know it's platinum. It's like those fucking Chrono Swiss. Remember Chrono Swiss did all these skeletonized things and... You know, they, they, they were amazing. They look they look amazing. But fuck, do, do, do you really want a fucking chrono Swiss? I mean, watches is all about snobbery. And that's what it is. It's snobbery. It's snobbery. You've got to have the name on it. And chrono Swiss is not Paddock Philippe, you know. I mean, if, if it was a Paddock was skeleton, it'd be fucking fortune. But it's a chrono Swiss. You've got to accept it. It is what it is. If my auntie had balls, she'd be my uncle. You know, that's it, 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 how, how it is there. Okay, guys, that's a that's a bit of a a uh, a Russian fucker. Fuck these Russians! They're they're nasty. They're just nasty individuals. You know, they're not even nice people. Uh, I know so many Russians. I mean, I come from a Russian ancestry, so I'm allowed to say this. But they're just fucking assholes. Assholes. Just I I personally would avoid dealing with Russians myself. I I would just. Avoid it. It's just get your life's too short to deal with cunts. I'm Paul Pluto. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead Russian friends. 
Uh, don't forget to put some nasty comments down below. And until next time, ciao, fuckers. From the creators of the Archie Luxury, the Poor Pluter and the Archie Luxury Corporate Channel comes something very special and appetizing. Elite Broadcasting, Elite Broadcasting, heavy hitting journalism, now powered by the Archie Luxury Media Group. Please stay tuned for Elite Broadcasting. 120,000 subscribers can't be wrong. Oops, yes, we used to be Elite NWO, but we had to rename when the left wing got nasty. They got nasty that we were telling the truth. Elite Broadcasting invites free speech, free speech. Free speech for all. Elite Broadcasting, powered by the Archie Luxury Media Group. <laughs>